Uganda is one of the countries in Africa endemic with the trail of neglected tropical diseases. Onchocerciasis, also commonly referred to as river blindness, is one of them. Over 2 million Ugandans are currently infected with the disease and about 3 million people are at the risk of contracting it. This disease is epidemic in 37 of the 112 districts in Uganda, although districts in western Uganda are most affected. In the early 90s, there was a strange disease that left many people in Masindi district, located in western Uganda, blind. This disease often attacked communities living near or inside forests and water sources. The victims are sent into an excruciating pain skin rash that keeps them scratching their bodies for a better part of the day. This disease is called onchocerciasis. River blindness is transmitted through bites from the black fly. Often these flies breed from the river and forested places which perhaps explains why the two communities were the most affected. In fact, out of the 82 villages in Pakanyi sub-county in Masindi district, 80 villages had people nursing the pain of river blindness. As a means of fighting the disease, the government of Uganda launched the vector control program through aerial spraying to kill and reduce on the number of black flies. The, the aerial spraying was a one-off um, at the height of uh, the nodding syndrome disease because we realized that the nodding syndrome was majorly in these areas where they are highly endemic for onchocerciasis. And because at that time one of our hypotheses was whether onchocerciasis could actually be a cause for the nodding syndrome, we agreed that we needed to tackle this. And so there was aerial spraying using uh, special aircrafts that are designed for the spraying. But that strategy could only go so far as the black flies reproduced and returned to further haunt the communities. In 2007, government launched the Onchocerciasis Elimination Program, which was aimed at completely wiping out the disease in the 36 districts affected by the problem. Their first step was to identify the affected places. The teams completed mapping of these neglected tropical diseases to know exactly the geographical regions where they are, the people that they affect. And uh, then we instituted what we call mass drug administration that we give to these populations on a biannual basis. And the coverage has been quite good. It built up capacity from a low level, and now we are almost at 85% uh, uh, mass drug administration coverage. The mass drug administration coverage was anchored on a strong team of the village health teams with supervision and training from the officials from the Ministry of Health. Meet Matatu Hadija, the Onkosakayasis parish supervisor for Pakanyi sub-county in Masindi district. She was one of the people trained by the ministry about prevention and control of river blindness in the district. My work is to train the VHT, to mobilize community, to create community awareness about onco, to supervise them, to counsel where possible I find would, where possible the VHT find problem like defaulters maybe, refusals and whatever, how to come up and to increase the coverage. Today she's visiting the different homes in the sub-county to identify any member of the community who could present any symptoms of the disease. Experience of over five years in the exercise directs her to an eye check for any symptoms. It is a routine that is done to every member of the family, lest some of them are left out. Those found with any symptoms are directed to a health center for proper diagnosis before started on treatment. The treatment is by annual in nature with those affected started on ivermectin. Okay. In order to ensure compliance to the treatment, Kabagambe Edward, who is a member of the village health team, has been tasked 
to carry out routine checks on the patients who have started on medication. Today he is visiting the family of Mr. and Mrs. Kahwe to check if they complied with the dosage. He moves along with record books to confirm the dosage and to document the health condition of the patients. The family has been consistent with treatment and it has certainly paid off. Despite the joy that has since returned to this family, they confess that the first dosage was a nightmare. Stephen Batube, who is also affected by the disease, speaks from the same script. His story is rather that of resistance against the drug. Such challenges are presented during the village health meetings where the village health team create awareness about the disease and remind the community to be vigilant. It is during these meetings that more drugs are given out. Once there is a drug stock out of the village health team, they return to the health center where they are given more drugs to supply to the communities. Now they bring us the, the register, then after bring the register and then we give the drugs to them. Then they, treat, they use the register of the homes, then they give according to the ages, then the number of the family they give. Then from there then they, they give us the, the feedback in terms of uh, documentation. This is the register, then we combine, then we send this thing to the district. The success story of fighting onchocerciasis in the sub-county and indeed the district is anchored on the drug intake from the community members with river blindness. We've managed to uh, reduce the problem. It's no longer a public health problem now. Because we can't now trace even the cases of uh, onchocerciasis in all the six, 60 communities. But that's not all. The VHTs also continue to eliminate the black fly which transmits the disease. Government has also carried out river dosing to destroy the larva of the black flies to prevent them from spreading. This, uh, this chemical is applied to the rivers at a certain period and as the water runs, it runs along with the water. Uganda is certainly on the road to eliminate onchocerciasis by 2020, but this progress has been made possible with the guidance of the World Health Organization, which has availed drugs and technical support. Partners coordination is very crucial, and the WHO has been playing a crucial role in coordinating all the different partners working in the elimination of onchocerciasis program and other entities as well. Uh, we have also been working with the Ministry of Health to come up with a master plan, and the master plan is also another significant progress that will help us actually to address not only on cases, but also other neglected tropical diseases as well. It can use to guide and uh, give uh, directions for the different implementing partners, including uh, the donors as well. The African Programme for Onchocerciasis Control, APO, which is at the center of the Onchocerciasis Control in Africa, has offered great support to the efforts to eliminate river blindness. Other partners include the Qatar Center, which has offered financial and technical support, and the Sight Savers International for Onchocerciasis and Trachoma Control. Because of this, the prevalence of river blindness has been significantly reduced from 75% in 1993 to 7% in 2015.